In this video, I'll teach you how to massively improve the traffic to your website using a little known strategy called information gain. And the best part is that it's really easy. All you need is ChatGPT and a phone to start ranking higher, gaining traffic, and making more money. And as a bonus, I'll show you five different live examples of real websites. So you can start doing this strategy yourself today. Okay, let's quickly talk about information gain for just a hot minute. A Google patent on information gain score was granted in June 2022. By all accounts, this patent is linked to several Google algorithm updates, including the helpful content update itself. How so? Well, the information gain score is seen as a method for Google to prioritize content that is original, high quality, and aligns with EEAT principles. This score measures how unique content is compared to other documents that Google analyzes for a specific query. How does this play out? Well, for many years, SEOs had become trained to have their pages mimic the results ranking at the top of Google. And for good reason, it worked. Software tools were created to tell us what topics, keywords, and density our article needed in order to match the top ranking articles. But recent Google updates have changed that ranking trend, most likely because of what AI has done. You see, AI does pretty much exactly what we used to do as SEOs. AI results are, in essence, a collection of previously written results. And in order to stand out from AI, you have to bring something never before seen to the table. Enter information gain. Want your content to be seen as both valuable and unique by Google, both now and going forward, bring something never before seen to your content. And I'm gonna show you an easy method to do just that. Okay, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Bringing something to your content that has never been seen before is a bit of a tall order. You can't search the internet for any of this because, well, it's already been seen by Google. Instead, you have to turn to other sources, and that's where unique imagery comes to play, and ChatGPT. You see, you can take a picture of your content's subject matter, feed it into AI with your already written article, and have the AI analyze it for information gain opportunities. It's quick, it's fast, and it's surprisingly good. Okay, let me show you some examples. Okay, the first thing I do is provide ChatGPT several articles on the concepts of information gain. I also provided a ChatGPT with information on the actual information gain score patent that Google filed. And then I asked ChatGPT to tell me more about what it learned. And you can tell that ChatGPT has picked up on what information gain is, the fact that it's very relevant for SEO, and some of the specifics. Once you've done this, you can actually start to prompt ChatGPT as it relates to your specific articles. For my first example, let's take a theoretical query and article to look at. I went with a query, what types of boots should a woman wear? As you scroll down, we have a lot of stuff at the top that we can't outrank. We have a LinkedIn article. I'm not gonna go into the results and what is ranking at this current present stage. We have people also ask, we have a Nordstrom article, a Marie Claire article, some discussion forums. And then here we go, I see sitting at number four is an article from hiscraves.com. 10 types of boots for women to look stylish and etc. As I pop over here, I can see the article. It's a long listicle style article. When I go over and look at Ahrefs, it's a DR6. So overall, this article is performing really, really well in what is otherwise known to be a competitive SERP environment. But what if we could add some information gain to this article by analyzing it and trying to figure out what it might be missing? So I went into my wife's closet, dug up some of her boots, and took a few pictures. Again, I'm going for pictures that are detailed close up and show different angles of different boots. I also took a picture of the three boots side by side. Now you could do this with as many boots as you have. Um, again, I'm taking the example where this is my website on boots and I'm looking for information gain ideas I can add to my article on boots that women should wear. I gave it a prompt that basically is saying, based on what I've trained you, I'm gonna give you some images along with the article I've written and I need you to find information gain ideas from the images that I can add to my article. I then provide the article to ChatGPT rather than giving it the URL because it's a little bit safer and easier to guarantee that ChatGPT is actually analyzing the article. Here's what ChatGPT came back with. Based on the visual information in the images and the context of the article, here are some information gain ideas that the article does not address. 
which could be considered for a more in-depth analysis. Perfect. Let's check and vet that they're actually good. For starters, it says the images show signs of wear and aging. Articles could provide information on how to care for boots to maintain their appearance over time. Hmm, interesting. Here's what's fun. I went back to my article that I'm using as the example and I searched for the word care. It's not mentioned once. Ding, ding, ding. This article is, meant, is uh, missing that opportunity. It goes on to provide a bunch of more examples of things that we could add to this article that would provide for information gain. Uh, I'll cherry pick a few more things. This, the images show different heel types. Could be a discussion on how heel height and type affect posture, walking comfort, especially as the boots wear. Coming back over to the article, I searched for the word heel and it's used six times on the page. One is in the table of contents, so that really doesn't count much. Here we have the combination of a thick platform sole and unique heel design contributes to a striking appearance, but doesn't discuss how that heel affects the fit or the comfort. Here we have, they have a flat heel and a rounded toes. These boots provide warmth, versatility, cold months, traditionally these latest boots. Nowadays, riding boots are coming in variations that include different heel heights, unique hardware. Again, though, not talking about how the heel height affects comfort. We move on to fourth and number fifth, we see stiletto heel boots as the header and we still see stiletto heel boots are the trendy women's boots, blah, 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 sophistication. Again, not addressing the fact of how heels height relates to comfort. Great job, ChatGPT. One more to cherry pick here and look at environmental impact of boot production. The article could include information on the environmental impact, sustainability. And once again, when I come over and I search for the word environment, environmental, uh, sustain, None of these words come up. It's not addressed at all in the article. So, so far, I would say that we've got a great result here. Again, what's the goal? We're giving it images to try to prompt the, the AI to surface ideas that we can include in our article that are, is already missing. You can continue to prompt the, the, uh, the AI, but like I did here, any other details you might be able to surface from the images I provided. And it goes on to provide another list of 10 or 11. So all in, I have 13, 12, sorry, 12 results from the first query with ChatGPT and another 11 results from the second query, totaling up 23. Now you wanna check each of these to make sure, and many of them have overlap, right? Here we have environmental and weather considerations, whereas in the beginning it talked about environmental impact of boot production. Very similar topics, but clearly picking up that there's an environmental. It also kind of uses its own mind, right? Like I'm not exactly sure what environmental topics it can surface from the images, but that's again, something that you can determine and weigh out. Sticking with the boot theme, let's move on to our second example. I typed in how to pick chucka boots for men. So another informational query and we get a lot of AI stuff. We get a featured snippet here. I wanted to find an article that was not ranking in the top, say five or so. That would be a good one to go after. And I selected this article at number nine from Boots by how to wear chucka boots, the only guide you'll need. Here is the article. It was most recently updated about two months ago, two and a half months ago. And you can see that it's a very long and in-depth article about chucka boots. It's pulling in a lot of different results. It's pulling in Instagram results. Um, it's pulling, obviously it's got some sales, some affiliate links, but it's got a lot going for it. And so I wanted to use this with AI to figure out what it might be missing from an information gain perspective. A quick check of AREFs shows that it's a DR35. So certainly it's competing really well in a rather difficult SERP environment. And so adding information gain topics to this article could serve its rankings really well and help get it out of the bottom of page one. Again, putting myself in the situation of the site owner, I went up to my room and grabbed different pairs of chucka boots and did three different individual shots to show in detail these boots and then also did a side-by-side -side picture, giving me a total of four images. I gave it a very similar prompt, same based on what I've trained you along with the images. Please use these images to tell me information, gain ideas so that I can, uh, I can learn more. And then I provided the article again in here. It's a long article and ChatGPT came back analyzing the images of Chucka Boots provided alongside your article. Here are some information gain ideas. And again, it surfaced different ideas than the last query I did with women's boots. Here in number two, it talks about the images show the boots with their laces tied in standard ways. Offering creative lacing techniques or style could add further functional and fashionable value for the readers. Let's go check the article and see if we talk about lacing at all. Again, I pop the word lace over here into the, uh, into the search and lace is used once, only once to reference 
open laced eyelets. Changing that to the word lacing, it's not even used once. And so here we have again, where uh, using images and ChatGPT, we are missing the opportunity to talk about different lacing techniques and different lacing on boots. Here's an interesting one. Number six, individual fit and break-in process. I remember when I got one of those pairs of boots that I used in the imagery, breaking them in took a lot longer than I was anticipating. I wish I'd known more about that when I was buying them. I probably still would have bought them, but I would have had my expectations set. And here it talks about that. Provide guidance in the break-in process for maximum comfort because as seen in the images, they conform to the individual's foot over time. Wow, that's fascinating. Let's go look at the article. A quick search for the word break shows it's not mentioned once. Hey, another great topic found, another information gain topic that's found because of using imagery and chat GPT. All right, are you a bit tired of the boots? Let's move on to something different and we'll go into something that's more maybe in the travel or the local space, depending on how you look at it. Potato Chip Rock is a great hike that is in my general area of town. And so I typed hiking Potato Chip Rock into Google. I got results from Hiking Guy and All Trails, which are both pretty authoritative results. I got some local map packs. I got people also ask, and then I got this article here from California through my lens. And this is a article that is clearly by someone who has been on this hike. Here's a video I made in 2020, how to get there. It's going through the entire trail. It does a pretty darn good job. Lots of unique imagery, lots of uh, pictures, lots and lots of uh, first person uh, uh, content basically here. But what could be learned in something that might be missing from an information gain perspective? And so here's what I did. I went and did the hike myself and I took pictures of the various signs that outlined the hike from the very beginning of the trail. And I said, I provided several images to you along with the article. And again, the same prompt based on these images, I want you to tell me information and gain ideas. And then I gave it the article and it's amazing what it was able to do. In this case, I was starting to read through the results and it didn't feel like it actually took any of my images into context. And so you can read through and see sometimes it just misses the mark. And this is something I wanted to have an example of in this video so you could see the difference. It, you can just read this and tell like it did not actually take any of my images, knowing the content of the images, into consideration. And so I said that I asked for, for you to provide information, gain insights from my images. And all you brought, all of what you brought up does not come from my pictures. And it acknowledged it. The AI said, let's focus directly on the details in your images. And now I can start to see some very, very good results that came out of the images that I sent. For starters, it talks about preparation for the hike based on the signage. So specific instructions and guidelines at the trailhead. You could emphasize the importance of following these recommendations, such as the suggestion to bring two liters of water to avoid, uh, uh, sorry, uh, starting early to avoid heat and planning for a hike that could take three to six hours with minimal shade. So I popped over to the article and I searched water and the word water was used three times. We went through about three liters of water in the trip and still ran out with about a mile left on the way down. So make sure you have lots of water. And then it says, just be sure to take lots of water. And if we go back here to what it's saying, this, our, our images is recommending that we are more specific with how much water to bring. The article says I ran out of water and I brought three liters, but it doesn't actually say what's recommended to bring and then how much that the author would actually recommend to bring. It just says what they brought and that they ran out. I think this is a really good insightful uh, 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 sur surfacing by ChatGPT because Google wants us to be authoritative in what we bring, not just sharing our experiences, but also bringing recommendations. And this is a very helpful tip that the sign says that we don't mention in this article with as much specificity as we could. ChatGPT also recommended that we plan for three to six hours round trip with minimal shade. Now, surely that got mentioned in an article on hiking potato chip rock, right? But as I come over here and I search the word hour, it's used seven times. Here it's used in similar posts and that's the first mention, that is odd. And as I scroll down, I see that it's only mentioned in the comments. Nowhere in our article does it talk about how long this hike takes. That is a huge miss and something that we learned because it's listed on the trail sign. One more piece of insight I'll pull out. It talks about facilities and amenities along the trail. The sign indicates the availability of porta potties and the absence of shade. Does this article talk about bathrooms? So I searched bathroom. And it mentions that once you park in the top parking lot, the trail starts near the bathroom and wraps around the lake. Okay, that's the bathroom at the beginning, but does it address bathrooms along the way? Well, it's only mentioned once, so it does not address bathrooms. So let me type porta potty. 
And port only is mentioned once, and that's in a next article. I'll type pot T for that and different variations. And it's so it's not mentioned at all. No mention of porta potties or bathrooms along the trail. Again, that's another really important element that a three to six hour long hike needs to address because over the course of three to six hours, chances are you're going to have to use the bathroom. And this article does not address right, that. One more. Sticking with the outdoor theme, let's go take a look at some of the lettuce that I'm growing out in my garden. I take an image of several close-ups of lettuce I'm growing and then an overview of an old planter bed with some lettuce growing. And it, uh, I took an article that I found on how to grow lettuce using this as the sample for my example. And if we go back here and look, uh, it gave me some ideas, but they felt fairly vague. And so again, what I did is I went back and I said, please pull information, gain ideas directly from the images I provided. Now that's not to say that some of these topics that they bring up aren't good. And, and I think that's something to really realize out of this. I've talked in the past about how to use ChatGPT or AI in general to just get ideas for what your article might be missing because it does have a large repository of information about, in this case, growing lettuce. But this doesn't specifically address information gain as it relates to the images I provided. So we can go a step further and prompt the AI to do more. And the AI does do more. It, uh, first off, highlights maximizing small spaces. The images show lettuce growing in limited spaces, suggesting an emphasis on space-efficient gardening techniques. Uh, mulching techniques, the presence of wood chips around the lettuce, suggests the use of mulch. Went back and I checked. Both of those aren't mentioned in the article. So you get the point, but man, these ideas that can surface from providing images are really great. And that's the value that I'm trying to show here in this video. Okay, so far our examples have been focused on taking images and analyzing them up against an article that we've already produced. And that's really great in that it gives you information gain ideas that your article might be missing compared to the images that you are providing. There's another way to go about doing that, and that is to look at the top ranking articles and see what information gain topics they're missing based on images you produce. As a matter of fact, I would say that the best approach would be to combine the examples I've already shown you with the example I'm about to show you. And that is where we take some images of products that we've written an article on, but we compare those images up against the top ranking articles to see which information gain topics they aren't addressing. In the end, it's up to you how deep you want to go down this uh, rabbit trail, if you will. But let's go look at an example where we do just that. We compare some images of products or of specific things that we have an article on up against what's ranking in the top results. I went ahead and grabbed two different pairs of hiking boots that I own, a pair of Merrell's and a pair of Columbia's. I took a search query that said Columbia versus Merrell hiking boots. And then I took the top results, the top three results, and I published them here into ChatGPT. I asked it to give me information gain ideas that these top articles, one, two, and three, are missing that my, info, uh, that my images would have in it. So you can see that I put article one, article two, and then we're gonna get down here somewhere to article number three. And here's article number three. So it's a lot of information for ChatGPT to go through, but it said based on the images and the articles you provided, my approach to suggest inform information gain ideas for the topic will be to identify, and here are some information gain ideas. Now, you got to learn how to read what the AI is telling you. And if you look at this, it's asking questions, but it, you can tell that it actually hasn't analyzed the images yet. And this does happen sometimes, especially as AI develops and changes over time. And so in this circumstance, what I said to the AI is, this is good, but none of it's based on the images I provided. As I stated, use these images to tell me information gain ideas. And that's when it started using the images that I provided. So it's a good example for you to learn from. Don't always just take exactly what it says at face value. Make sure to read through it and understand whether or not it actually used the images because sometimes it'll just do what it wants. Now though, I can tell that it actually used the images. And I think that it found some really great things. Number two here, wear and tear indicators. Based on the images showing the used boots, a discussion on common wear patterns would be valuable. Um, real world performance visuals. Instead of studio quality images, the use of user provided images to give more realistic expectation of the boots performance. Color fading and material discoloration. An analysis of how the colors and materials of these boots holds up to different environmental conditions. Comparison of boot soles. A closer look at the soles for un signs of uneven wear. Lacing system longevity. 
comfort and fit use. Boot interior. Since the images do not show the inside of the boots, a discussion on the inner construction, and on and on. Again, some of this you can tell is based distinctly upon the images I provided, and some of it is a bit of a stretch using ChatGPT's knowledge to kind of stretch a bit. It's up to you to figure out which is which, but I did go back and cross-check a lot of the things that were brought up right here in front of me, and they are not addressed in the top three articles, giving me a great opportunity to add this into my article and provide not only information gained potentially to Google, but also talking about a topic that none of the top uh, ranking results are talking about. Information gain is a great way to provide unique content that hasn't been seen before by Google and thus by adding unique perspectives that can provide new insights to readers and Google alike. Now, just looking online for ways to do this information gain can be difficult because all of that has already been seen. Using your own images of the subject matter that you're talking about can be a great way to pull out and highlight new ideas that haven't been surfaced yet. You can either use your images and chat GPT to look at other articles and surface ideas that haven't been mentioned in them, but my favorite is to look at my own articles and to surface ideas for information gain topics that I am not a addressing. Good luck using this method to improve your own articles and content.